hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i have basically been filming my face makeup for you i have basically <laughs> when i started doing some of these videos people were basically saying to me um please 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 can you film a contour video now this is all well and good because i do do like doing contour however the the only issue with this is I was like mm, like with contour it, it's not easy and it's one of those things that like you can do it in your bedroom and you can take a picture and you could be like it looks awesome and take a selfie and you're like yeah and then you go outside and you go natural light and you look ridiculous <laughs> and and you look like you've got a beard or something so <laughs> yeah so basically I wanted to do like or try and create like a natural kind of contour look with powders so that is what I've tried to create today for you so I kind of wanted to do it for people that maybe haven't tried contour before or just want like a natural contour that you could just try um if you've not tried it before so yeah that's basically what I've done I've done tried try to you like like um, every day maybe I mean you don't have to do this every day because there is actually quite a lot of products involved I didn't realize until I started, <laughs> started doing it so please don't judge me but um yeah give it a go if you haven't given contour a go it's actually not that hard and I think the main trick in it is just to not like go in too much with too much product just kind of build it up but um yeah just give it a go and yeah <laughs> keep watching if you want to try so thanks so first of all we are going in with the cream which is a boots botanics 81 percent uh rose hip organic cream this is really really nice really like just hydrating and i think because it's organic i feel like it's like giving me like a spa or like a face treatment or something <laughs> probably psychological um next is the primer this is the laura mercier just the original one really like it again just really really hydrating but not greasy i tend to get quite greasy throughout the day so this one i think just keeps my makeup on really nice so classic double wear everybody loves double wear um so i'm going to be using that today that is in the color dawn that is my current color um this i'm going to show you quickly really quickly is double wear max oh my god did not know this existed until the other day but i'm not going to use that right now i'm going to save that for another video when i'm going out doing my going out makeup so we're going to go back to this one right now so this brush is a primark brush oh my god believe it or not i saw it the other day i thought i'd try it and it is amazing so it's three pounds go and buy them so i've just got the dawn on my hand that's what it is <laughs> it's a hand and i'm literally just you can see like little circular motions with that on my face just to put in the foundation first of all <clears throat> double wear is my favorite because it's so like the coverage is amazing and the thing that I love about it most is that it doesn't get greasy like like I said because I can get like melt throughout the day this just doesn't melt like ever so like it could be like seven o'clock at night and my face is just like not melted or greasy it's just like not powdery but just like matte like really matte which I love um so yeah this is my fave never found another foundation I love as much um, so yeah, just make sure that's all rubbed in everywhere with that brush. So um, once this is all done, I am using this concealer. Now, my favourite all-time concealer is the NARS Creamy Concealer, which is not this one, by the way. This is number 17, actually, um, in the shade Fair. Now, this is like a, like an, a really good everyday substitute the coverage is nowhere near as good do not get me wrong this is like three pounds in comparison to like 22 pounds but if you're going to be wearing it every day then this is really 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 good and i do love how creamy it is so yeah this is my favorite kind of go-to like not so expensive one the nars one is amazing but yeah to buy it all the time it does run out super quick so this is my favorite everyday one do try it if you haven't um this is another primark brush god i'm yay yay primark brushes today um this is a baby stippling brush i'm using just to like dab it in 
So as you can see, I've literally put it under my eyes, on my chin and between my forehead. That is where I conceal. So that is where I'm just putting it right here. And I'm literally just, I kind of like, yeah, um, looks like I'm stabbing it in. <laughs> dabbing. There we go, dabbing. That's a better, better word than stabbing. <laughs> so just making sure that is all blended in. Now for the contour. This palette here is a Revolution London. It's again like three pounds. I use the dark shade and this brush here is from my Coastal Scents set. Now I am using uh, this brush which has got a slight angle on it to do the contour. Now when I'm doing this I just want to stress how lightly I am doing this and how little product I have on the brush. So literally just dab a tiny, 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 tiny bit of product on your brush and then just put it, I, and I try and make, make myself look like a fish while I do it, as you can see. <laughs> so pout your cheeks out and just make yourself look like a fish and gently, gently do it. The best thing you can do is start with a small bit of powder and just build it because otherwise, you're gonna have to take it off and start again and double is expensive. So, <laughs> and as you can see, I didn't have much left and I'm not gonna buy another one just because of that. So yeah, make sure you start off slowly with a small bit of product and add, and I just go in on my forehead as well. So add a little bit to my forehead and then I do blend in this bit, as you can see, does look really dark right now, but in a second I'll blend it in, so don't worry. <laughs> Um, as you can see, that is where I went in probably a little bit too hard on the on the forehead. So I blended it in there. Um, so now I'm just basically going to warm up the bit that I've contoured with my MAC Skin Finish Mineralize Bronzer in the colour Dark Tan. Um, I also love Dark Golden as well. They're both really nice, but this one's Dark Tan. So I'm using my um, oh, Real Techniques brush. By the way, just to let everybody know, I will be... Um, linking all of these products below so if you're wondering what anything is everything will be linked below um, and I'm just going to literally soften the contour so this kind of warms it up and softens it at the same time so I'm just going to go over it all and warm it up and bronze it up give it a glow I like to say <laughs> And on your neck as well. Make sure you match. Don't leave your don't leave your neck out. Your neck wants to join the party. Okay. So next we're gonna go in with some blush. So this one is again MAC. This one is called Margin. I'll show you it now. Um, this is this uh, MAC brush. Again, I'll link it below. Um, yeah, there we go. It's quite like it's quite a nice colour, quite almost kind of corally but I love it it's lovely um and I'm just gonna pop it just at the like I guess the apples of your cheeks just a little bit there just to warm up the whole thing I like blush you don't have to use blush if you're doing contour some people don't I just prefer it I just like to warm up my face looking for my product, next product by the looks of it. <laughs> Where is it? There we go, lost. No, oh, she's found it. <laughs> um, so this is, oh my God, this is Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. Look at it. Oh my God, look at it. It is incredible. Literally, this is my favorite product at the moment. I'm going to use a fluffy brush to put it on. My friend gave me this for Christmas. I use it as a, I use it as a highlighter. I use it as an eyeshadow. I use it as a lipstick. No, no I'm totally joking. I don't use it as a lipstick, but I, I do use it as pretty much everything. Look at it as it goes on. It is incredible. It is just amazing. I think it is quite expensive, but it is worth it. You know, when you kind of think those highlighters that are really expensive, this is 100% worth it. So if you're debating getting this or trying it, do it. <laughs> I would definitely say this is my favourite product at the moment. It's amazing. It really is amazing. So I'm just going to be putting that on the tops of my cheeks to highlight those. And I like to put it on the tip of my nose as well, like a highlighted nose. And I do put it on my Cupid's bow as well. So... 
and there we go, just get that. Now I'm gonna do my nose contour. Now this com this bit's completely optional. If you don't wanna do this, you don't have to. Now I've got a tiny little brush, which is from my Coastal Sense set, which I 100% would recommend to get. If you're looking at me doing all of this and thinking, oh gosh, there's loads of brushes involved, it comes with loads and loads of brushes. So I would completely recommend it. So I would get the dark color again and again very gently just kind of outline it with this particular brush um, and then once you've outlined it go in with a fluffy brush and you just blend the whole thing in so just very gently outline around the outside of your nose and the tip So back in with a fluffy brush and just blend it all out. You can just keep going back in with either brushes or sometimes you might need to put your finger in there. <laughs> yep, there we go. <laughs> just to make sure it's ultra blended because sometimes yeah, sometimes it's like I said, different lights that can look all right and sometimes it doesn't. So I am going to do my lips. I got a bit excited and did my lips before I finished my powder, but I'm going to do my lips right now anyway. So this is my Rimmel uh, East End Snob Lip Liner, which I'm just going to line my lips with just to finish the look off. So yeah, just lining my lip, just sketching them, just kind of, I try not to do like one solid line. I try to do like little, little loads of little tiny sketch lines. Uh, just to line those out and my favorite lipstick creme cup of course <laughs> mac creme cup so yeah that's my lipstick on here and then gloss because i love gloss uh, this is from the nutcracker collection i can't remember what it's called i'll have to link it below but yeah, that's a really nice light one, just to pop in the middle. Like I said, I got too excited putting the lip gloss on, I forgot to do my powder, which is a really important part <laughs> of this whole powder look. So I get my Beauty Blender, which is slightly damp. I pop it in my Laura Mercier translucent setting, loose setting powder and I kind of outline my cheeks so this kind of makes the contour stand out kind of outlines your your cheekbones I do it there I put a little bit in the center of my forehead just to help it brighten it there and make it set and that's the bit I get greasy oh got a bit on my nose didn't mean to do that um, and then under my eyes I put it as well just because that is where it creases as well and again that's where I like it to look slightly lighter so that is where I put the powder with my beauty blender and then once you've done that you can get your just get a big big brush and just literally just brush it all off blend it all in that's it blend it all into each other until it's seamless and you can't see any white white beard anymore you're no longer santa so this is the finished look as you can see it is very subtle but um yeah Thank you so much for watching everybody um give it um, a like if you did like it of course <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't already and you did like it and hopefully i'll do another video soon um and yeah thanks for watching and bye